Hey there, everyone. I'm Around the Wheel, and welcome back to Threads of Fate. This is going to be a fairly talk-heavy, talk-house of an episode, I think. Starting off with domestic violence. <laughs> oh, man. No better start to a day. At least in the world of video games. Not in real life, definitely. Indeed, Duke. A code of honor? That's stupid. Why did you do that? Boy, that would hurt getting hit by that big old blocky fist. Look at that thing. Good lord. Belle's got the ham hands. She got the Lana Kane hands going on there. <laughs> Duke's just like, mmm, carpet. Yeah, it was just kind of a, you know, a thing. <laughs> you can just see the contempt in her eyes. God, this is such an expressive game. It's so well rendered. Duke has really strong senses of both right and wrong. He's really good at both. Can't disagree with that, though. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not the case at all. Because if you're lying, so help me God. Well, somebody's going to die, and uh, considering the trend, it's probably going to be Duke. I wouldn't want Duke to die. He's an excellent character. Book. That book already failed once. I'll show you a fist of fire. What? <laughs> We're in the middle of a, uh, we're in the middle of a little chat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're about to need to skip town. Ta ah, shit. <laughs> Jeez. I like that she's. That's some good translating. That's translate. That's some good translating there. <laughs> no, that's some good translating there. It's very, that's a very, I love it when those kind of, Westernisms sneak their way into games like that. Those kind of Woolseyisms. Not like Spoonie Bart or anything, but you know. Uh, sometime after never o'clock. Mind your own business, you uptight so and so. Very good. You know, generally that's not where the peephole is on the doorbell. Well, are you going to lay there, Duke, or are you just going to. Are you going to get up and. Throw some fists of fire again. Boy, this is a comfy room right here. This room is pretty pretty swag. I mean, I don't think there's any real advantage to staying there, but it's nice to see the inside of one of the rooms for once. The hexagon, uh-oh. Project hexagon underway. I don't know. Third time wasn't the charm, so I think, yeah... I think you better start busting out the nuclear option here. Damn, damn, damn. We're going to hurt you so bad, you're going to wish we didn't hurt you so bad. <laughs> Bell and Duke, you are pretty awesome. Keep on keeping on, lovely lady. And now you get back into town, and you never go anywhere with me again. Yeah, really? I'm exhausted and afraid for your life. That sounds good. Maybe we'll get to play a little etiquette quick time event or something. <gasps> oh, Claire? Claire, what you doing? You're just seeing things, Rue. Maybe she went to Hobbs' shop to share some of the rare wine. Marco, you look like you know something. No, I didn't see any gross, yucky girls coming here. You think I want cooties? Ugh. Well, probably. No, I definitely saw her too. You're not quite imagining things, Rue. But I think we have other business at hand. Well, you know, there's also Elena, but I can see how you would totally forget about her. 
let's go see Claus. We've got some more action to deal with with him. And then we've got some uh, little side trips to make before we go off to our main course today. So, before we move on to the next place, I don't know, nobody hanging up on the little balcony here. What is this right here? This appears to be some kind of stone chiseling of like a Metroid Super Missile or something. Holy crap! Catching the big fish. I know what's for dinner tonight. That's why they wanted us to come over. They caught a big old fatty. Well, hello, Miss Nothing to Do with this game. What are you doing here? Yeah, I got him. Just shut your fat face, you fat princess. Yeah, you had a rough time. You having to go get the one single thing. Alright, let's see what that does. Maybe they have some kind of life-giving power. Maybe they're, like, coated in uranium or something. Yep, coated in uranium. Just what I thought. And here comes the Cousin Oliver of the game. Okay, not really. But he's not really annoying. No more annoying than Elena, anyway. They introduced her right out of the gate. Hey, that's still pretty impressive. Toy technology has a long way to come, but still, we're like at the My Buddy doll. Of oh, snap. We just reached real doll territory. Well, then maybe you should lay off the fatty foods, Mint. <laughs> wow, you can talk. Do you know anything about the relic? Wow, forget what I said about toy technology. That's pretty f awesome. This thing is going to be the sensation of the holiday shopping season for sure. Yeah, you could have you could have just said that prima doll. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a slight problem with my language selection. Let's try this. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Rue, now you're in the doghouse, too. Don't you ever tell a woman to take it easy. Speaking from experience. So, kind of, is what you're saying. All right, Spock, speak English, how about? I thought Claus was the nerd. <laughs> Pomp right on the face. It's like riding a bike. You occasionally forget. Well, there's a Greek restaurant right around the corner. We can get you a new Euro. Oh, wait. Seriously, I'm with Mint here. <laughs> English, please. There's a time and a place for that kind of fancy talk. All right, well, uh, he can just lay in bed. And, uh, Claus, you're in charge of cleaning up the bed sores. Did you find out anything about it? Yes, it's for sale at Tonio's shop. Ah, the power of books. Woohoo! Well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. Why Laugh Gene lives there. Oh, yes! This is something I actually vaguely re oh, He's like a huge dragon. Okay, I kind of thought there was a dragon in this game. I thought... I kind of thought, you know, why aren't we to the dragon yet? But I think that's the... That's coming back to me. I think that's the dragon that I thought was in this game. No, 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 no. You stay here. You stay here and listen to Prima Doll talk, and you can just sit there and be like, huh? <laughs> My advice is don't step to him unless you want to get your future straight butt-fucked. Very powerful dragon. Also had a successful R&B career back in the day. Oh, boy. Well, uh... <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe when we get to her quest, maybe she'll be a little stupider. Yeah, that definitely sounds like the easier task. She's always doing the easier stuff. Leave me with the hard crap, why don't you? God, what a doucher. 
Well, what do you think? I guess I don't have a whole lot of choice. You don't have to know how to get to Raging Mountain. You go up to the door, say Raging Mountain, and then you're there. There is no map preparation needed. This is a bunch of stupid nonsense. Well, that is quite enough Jabberjaw for now. Oh, I, I guess the fall really uh, hurt your pride, huh? Yes, once I feel like a pretty princess, then I'll know something about inappropriate. Well, that's cool. Well, we don't have the amulet yet, so, uh, what's shaking claws? No, I, I get that. Yeah, everybody's going to be talking about tiaras and amulets and stuff. Well, let the pageantry begin. Boy, Claus is really a hands-off kind of parent, isn't he? What do Claus and Myra spend? <laughs> yeah, she did cause me a lot of trouble, as a matter of fact. Why don't you and I go to the tavern, and we'll talk a little more about what kind of trouble your daughter is. Yeah, and what are you going to do about it, huh? What kind of recompense am I going to receive for this for this uh, inconvenience? But, uh, yeah, we've spent quite enough time jabberjawing, so let's get upstairs and get out of the house. And uh, I think there's new armor to buy, and also there's some things to do in Corona Forest that we need to take care of, which will take up the bulk of the remainder of the day. Sup, Tonio? I need some new armor, so let's do some shopping. 4,500! Good lord. Do you accept pocket lint? Or do you accept monster coins? What do we have in the way of monster coins? Well, not a whole lot. We killed a lot of skeletons and puppets, and uh, some specters. What's that worth to you? Holy shit! That ought to do, actually. Oh, oh, and we have this stuff to sell as well. So, yay, we got lots of money. So, we might actually do some, uh, we might do some rod fighting if he'll have us. And, uh, of course, we don't want to get rid of our legendary sword. We want to buy a platinum bracer. Yes, sir, and a platinum belt. Wow, we, well, that was, that was quite fun. Yeah, let's go fight Rod. We'll fight Rod and then we'll find our forest secrets and we'll call it a day. But, uh, I don't, I have not showed off any rod fighting yet. This is a way to make some money, I do believe. I hope I have not. Hope I have not uh, missed the boat on this particular. Is he gone or is he? There he is. He might be. He might be down to. He might be DTF today. He might be down to fight. He might be a double tubby fatty fat. Yes, I am. I think we'll see a lot more of him in Men's Quest. I think we. I think we get some use out of the pretty cool little pontoon boat he's got parked there in the garage. Rod the Blade Star. Aw, oh, Johnny Wolf is adorable. Murf, murf. So, so what? So you're a weenie with a puppy? I'm digging this little uh, Vamo Alia Flamenco going on here. Angry's up the blood. That's what you're saying. Yeah, we'll take you on. When it comes right to it, take a man who's down to fight. Yeah. Let's give Rod some bona fide loving. Sure, okay. Oh, yes, yes. Strictly ornamental. Sorry. I'll fight you with my hat. <laughs> and Johnny Wolf is gonna referee. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Roo. Roo. Roo, eh? Where's Kanga? <laughs> no, no, no. Enough wisecracks. Let's fight. Yeah, that's right. You gotta spend money to make money. What the fuck do I have to pay you for, son? Well, there you go. That's fair, I guess. Well, no, not really. I can get money anywhere I need it. What matters is heart and money. Yeah, let's stay and fight. Let's see if I can, uh... It's only a hundred bucks. If I lose, I'm out a hundred bucks, so whatever. See if this is an easy way to make money or what. He might get far... He might get farther. Ha! He might get harder the more times I fight him. Yeah, I, I imagine he'll have new weapons and stuff if we continue to fight him a lot. Golden Gale. Well, actually, it's one of two weapons, but... Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Aha! Yes! C! Oh, wow. Man, I've got pretty good armor at this point. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to have to come fight him more. Wow, this is an easy thousand in the bank right here. I can just sit here and wail on him all I want. And... Oh, I don't have a whole lot of hit points, though. Wow, yeah, that was an easy thousand bucks, though. 
Damn, you're pretty good at just spamming the X button. Well, alright, that sounds delicious. Let's go on then. Alright, that sounds like a good time. If we ever need an extra thousand bucks to get a little bit of cash or whatever, if we need like a little bit of a bump to get some armor or whatever, then that sounds like a good idea. But for now, we're going to go on to Corona Forest, and I hope I have... Uh, I can't see my transformation coins. Damn. Oh, oh, holy cow. Oh, yeah, I can't really sell those at Tonio's shop. Why would I want to, though? Uh, I guess I could keep fighting him or whatever and keep... I need to sleep first. That's what I need to do. Then we'll go to Corona Forest and find some secrets that I've been uh, missing out on. Alright, this is not Corona Forest, as you can tell. But to do what I'm about to do, you actually have to come here first, it looks like. Yes, we're going to plunk down the 500 Gs to stay in the fancy hotel. That sounds good. And unlike Bell and Duke, I'm good for the money. Ha ha ha. So we're going to we're gonna nose around the room here, and we're going to get this little guy, the Dreamstone. And once we go to sleep with it, we're going to have a vision that is going to activate this little secret that we can get. Yes, we do. But more importantly, we have to dream about monkeys. That looks like a tinier monkey than we're accustomed to. <laughs> but now we know where we need to go. We need to get to the forest. And I'm not sure if the monkey transformation is... Uh, was his name Lesson? Lesson 1. Don't name your kid Lesson. Alright, now we're going to go to the forest. And we're going to... I don't know if you need the monkey specifically or not for this. But I went ahead and I got it anyway. In preparation for this particular thing. Making sure I was doing it correctly. So let's go. Let's go on to the forest now. And uh, just in case, let's... Okay, we've got our monkey and we've got our water. We're going to be needing water for this. Let's go. Let's go get monkeyed up. Oh, what? Come on. There we go. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so now we're in here. What is in here? What is in here? I don't think we need the monkey's services anymore. Ha 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 ha! Take that, you stupid little jerk. Oh, wow. Oh, they think they're funny. They think they're going to get the jump on me. Well, they have another thing coming, I think. Let's try not to get these things, actually. Let's... Ah, what's up there? Here's why we need water, I think. Uh, if if my uh, sources are correct here. Let's let's get all magicked up here. Okay, let's, let's try to at least aim it at the plant. That wakes it up. Aha! There you go. That's how plant growing works. You just breathe enough water or something... And it'll go and do whatever you want. And now we have the last hero. We have acquired ourselves. Let's get on out of here now. Let's go back. And this belongs to Rod. Or allegedly it belongs to Rod, I suppose. I mean, he's the person you're supposed to give it to. I don't know that it really belongs to him per se. But that's who we're going to be taking it to. So more on that shortly. Moron. <laughs> I said moron. Let's get out of here. Alright, now we're going to give this to the person to whom it belongs. Not in terms of possession, but to whom the game thinks should have it. Here we go. Why, yes, it is. Uh, I don't, because literacy is for chumps. Ha. It, 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 it is aboot something, I don't know. Sure, man, you can borrow it, but if it's late back to the library, you're the one who's paying the fine. So, yes, we're going to give him the book. <laughs> one hell of a gift. I like how they don't mince words in this game. That is one hell of a gift. <laughs> sure. All right, something to return. Hell yeah, four strength ups. I think so. You know, Rod, you just made it a lot easier for me to fight you when I come for my thousand gold bounty. Yeah, sure, no problem. You're the one who's giving out strength ups like they're candy. Sup, Johnny Wolf? Sup, awesome looking fucking badass boat in the background there. I wish we could ride it, but I don't think that's part of Rue's journey. So we're just going to go on our merry way. And this is not a very action intensive episode, but it's a good one to uh, come back on after an extended absence, I think. So next time we're going to move on to Raging Mountain. We're going to rage against the mountain, and I'll see you guys then.